Oh, I could be all it is you need. Cause we are trying to find a way to Hello there, and welcome to another Mini Guide 951 3D pixel art tutorial. And today, cause the old texture pack came out, uh, skin pack, skin pack, yep, yeah, skin pack of Doctor Who, I am going to do a Dalek. Exterminate! Exterminate! Yeah, that was that was my impression. So what I would do is I quickly jump across to a video so you can see what we will be building, and then we'll jump straight back into the tutorial for you guys. Right, and we're back. So I've done a little template here. So what we're going to do, a row of seven, then three diagonal like this, then another row of seven, then three diagonal, a row of seven, three diagonal. All the way around till you make a kind of circle like that. So then from here, what we're going to do, this block here, bring it up one here and here, here with red. And then what we can do is place a white here and here. Now we've done that, what we can do is just go white, delete in the middle block, do that three times, so you'll end up with three going up like that. And the same with this side, so you do three up like that, oh, 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 deleting that one, like so. And then what we can do is get our red, so we bring this up one here and then across. And the same one here and across, and then all the remainder of this you just fill in the middle, like so, making sure you don't go any further than the white after the original first row you've done. So, in fact, what we can do is do it like that. So, once you've got that there, you then want to do a row of three. After you've done your row of three, you want a white on each edge with a red center, like so and then a red finish the top. So now we've done that, what we can do is come down to this, this block who's diagonal, we do a row of two up, then you want to go diagonal in again, and you want to do a row of three, so that sits up roughly nicely with there. Same again, diagonal, row of three. And you want to continue that on this side, so from here you want to go in, row of two, diagonal, row of three, and the same again, in diagonal a row of three so as you can see it's starting to take shape this one this next row is slightly different so you want a row of one white then a red directly on top then go inwards again you want a white there with another white at the top with a red like that if that makes sense yeah so you should end up with something like that and then the next one you want a red then with one white and then a red to finish it off and you want to continue that on this side so you want a white to start off with red one white one red so it's just alternative all the way up to the top here right to there so as you can see it's starting to take shape and the Dalek is really looking good well I think it, I, I like the way this actually looks so as we're looking, what we can do is then come to the sides and uh, once again, what we do is we get a red out bring it up one, run that all the way back to roughly about there then what you can do is add a white here, miss a space, white, miss a space, white and then all the other bits that you've missed, just fill in with your red, like so and you want to continue that pattern basically all the way up. So from here you want to place a white diagonal here. In fact, we'll like so, all the way across so it'll come up to roughly about there. In fact, we can take that one out. So we'll start with a row of red here, like so. Row, three rows. And then this one will fill all the way across. We'll take out these whites first and then we'll place a white there, then a red, then a white, then a red, then a white. Right, 
I think we've made this slightly too big here. So what we do is we take out one, two, three, four, five, six. So when I said this was a complete circle, you want to change the sides to a six while the front and back are seven. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three. Yeah, that's much better. So these side ones are going to be six and the front there and the back there are seven long. Because that looks better. This looks better. It confused me there for a minute. I was like, what? what's going on? But yeah, we're, we're there now. We've, do we've done it. So red, white, red, white. That's looking better. Confused me a little bit, but now we're back on track. So white again, filling in red. And then this next one, you want to red all the way across this row till you end up with a white. Then go back and each one of these would end up with a white in it, like so. So the red continues and wraps all the way around the white on this one. So as we're looking from the back, this row here we want to do similar to what we did with the uh, with the front. So in diagonal, row of three, in diagonal, row of three. So you could probably, in fact, we'd, we'd do the other side as well. So wh while we're here, we're going to do that. So as we're looking at it from the front, bring it up all the way back to roughly about there. Then each one, you miss one, and then place a red. Then can fill in the holes with white. Same again. So back here, diagonal white, red, white, red, white, red, all the way to the front. So now you've done that, and that's really starting to look good. We'll uh, do a one row of reds, and then we'll continue that like so. Oh, 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 oh! White, white, white. That's looking good. I'm liking that. It's starting to really look like a Dalek. I hope it doesn't actually come alive and try to exterminate us all. Because that is just... That would be not a good ending for us. No, no, no. No, no, no. Right, so what we do, do this all the way back. Hole, hole. Fill in the holes with the white all the way to the back there. And then we're back with the red. So row of two up, then diagonal in. Row of three. Ooh, cool. I'm deleting all the wrong blo blocks. Then same again, all the way to the top, like so. The next one's going to be the one with white. So what we want to do is white there, white there, and and as I said, whatever you do on this side, it'd be the exact same the other side. So red on top, red on top. Then the next one, you want to alternate. So you want a white here, then a red, then a white, then a red to start off the next one, white in the middle, and then red to finish it off. Continue that on this side, so you want white, red on top, then white, then red, with one white, and then a red. So it all meets in nicely. And for the back here, what we're going to do is most of this is going to be red, so we're just going to fill it all the way in. So it fills in this gap in the middle here. So hopefully you should be able to follow this. Just fill in all this gap here until you reach to the top of your build to there. Then what we can do is from this one, take out a hole, miss out one and do a hole all the way to the top like that. Then what you can do is get your white and just fill that in all the way to there. Right, now we're going to start doing the actual top bit of the Dalek. As you can see, that is the bottom bit and it looks pretty good. So what we want to do is find our center block here and we're going to make it blue. So we're going to go up one, two, three, three there like so. In fact, yeah, I'm going to keep it blue. Why not? It's totally up to you. You can use different colors if you want. So I'm going to alternate this all the way around so it's Blue, grey, blue, grey, blue, grey, blue, grey. All the way around. That's what I want to see. So we're going to have another blue here. Rows of three. All the way around if you can. 
So that's good. Then uh, here we want a row of three red, uh, red, grey. We're going to quickly go to sleep and continue the rest of this in the morning. Right, as you can see, that's where we got to. I'm going to change the blue for ne never uh, obsidian. Sorry, because it just it's a, that blue is a bit too bright for my liking. So we're just going to put it with a uh, uh, obsidian. And as I say, we're just going to alternate this all the way around the edge. We want grey, blue, or grey obsidian, grey obsidian. So we just fill this in here. I hope you're enjoying these tutorials and uh, you're leaving likes and comments and subscribing and all that goodness because it helps the channel grow. And I, I, would, I wouldn't be doing this without you guys. You guys really keep me going, and uh, I really thank you for for that. So as I say, you're just going to keep alternating this all the way round. All the way, all the way. So another grey. Then we want uh, obsidian. Then a grey, then obsidian, obsidian, obsidian. Then a grey. Grey, 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 grey. Right, okay. So that's cool. So as I said, we just wanted to do that all the way around, free tool, until you should end up with something that looks like that. There we go. Here is one we prepared earlier, as they say in Blue Peter. So now what we can do is go to the top, put red all the way around the top, all the way. I'm getting dizzy. There we go. We've done it like that. So we, we go all the way around the top like that. And then what you can do is fill in the corners here, here. Just to bulk it out a little bit. So as you're looking at the top, you should see something like that. Right, so then from there, what you can do is bring this up and wrap this all the way around. Similar to what we did with the row below it all the way around to it meets up with where you started to there nope hang on i thought that was the end of it until to there that's better and you can fill in that as well all this will be filled in to here all that will be filled in all that and all that is that right yeah no Hmm. That looks a bit better. I'm not sure if that needs to come out or not. Uh. Yeah, so we want to end up with a 3x3 three three square on the top like so. Then what we could do is get our grey out and we want 1, 2, 3. And on your fourth one you want to make it like a cross pattern. So it all sticks out like that. And then you want to bring it out again. On your next one, you want to then bring it up, forward and out, so it makes like a T pattern. Same with all the sides, do the exact same, bring it out. Just so it basically ends up with it like a square at the end of it. So you should end up with something that looks very similar to that. And this, is going to act as like the actual gun so it's totally up to you what you want to put in there I'm not 100% sure I might just put in white for now just so you can see then what we can do is get our light blue it's totally up to you on this one you don't need to put these here but I like it because it gives it a, like a little sort of effect of almost like the Dalek has got horns like so so you end up with something that looks like that and that on both sides then what we can do come down to here get our obsidian out again so from this block you want to go out one then come up diagonal and do a row of three like so in fact you could probably do that a row of four just so it sticks out to a nice nice sort of level and it should be in theory one further than that gun up the top there then on the other side same sort of thing here then up diagonal destroying the block at the bottom 
and then this what this side they've got almost got like their fork so you want to bring it out both sides like so and there we go there is your one complete Dalek I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial please leave a like comment subscribe take care goodbye